Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if you have no interest in designing your own edge light uh, someday, uh, you can stop watching the video now. This might be a little bit boring. Uh, and I'm a long way from drawing this one. But someday I'm going to figure this out. And I was playing around with the night and I came up with this one. And I actually think this would look pretty cool. So I thought I'd just kind of show you how I drew it. And I'm not going to pay any attention to the difference to size or anything. I'm just going to take my two-point line. And I'm going to hold down my control button and draw a straight line. And if you notice, I draw everything in hairline. And then I'm going to get my circle tool, my ellipse tool. And it doesn't even have to be a perfect circle, but we're going to make it perfect. by held it, holding down the control button. Now I'm going to grab it and I'm going to have it snap right to there now i'm just going to kind of draw an imaginary line doesn't really matter where i put it That's, maybe i'll move it a little bit more and then i'm just going to take my virtual segment delete key and delete everything on that i don't need so basically i'm making a curve to my line now these are two separate entities, so I need to select them both, and I'm going to combine them. Now I don't really know how big this is, but I don't really care right now. It's it's only an inch, not even two inches big. So I'm going to make my nudge factor 0 0.0125. Let's see what that looks like when I make a duplicate of it. That's not enough. Go back up here and we'll make the nudge, oh, 0 0.125. That's pretty good. I'm just going to make a couple of duplicates. I think I made a couple and stacked them on top of each other. Then I'll delete Control D and I'll delete that one. Just hit the delete key. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of that one. I don't want more than too many. But I'm just going to duplicate across the page. And sometimes Corel does that on my laptop. It, if I go too fast, it can't keep up. Now I'm going to take one of these lines, and I'm going to Control-D, and I'm going to put it at a 90-degree angle. And then I'm going to grab it with my... Point, pointer tool and I'm actually going to place it like right in there but I'm going to flip it over like that and then move this up I'm trying to make the illusion of a curve now I need to make it quite a bit longer and now I'm going to do the same thing with it control D and move it down so you can just kind of see where I'm going with this. And I'm not, for the video, I'm not going to cut off those lines. Now I'm going to bring in the heart. And it's under basic shapes. And I'm going to, this was the hardest part I, I was thinking about it. Uh, the hardest part for me to make this look real. For a second, I'm going to group this together. I'm going to hit P and put it at the center of the page. Because I like drawing in the center of the page. Now I'm going to take my heart and press P and put it in the center of the page. Now I'm going to need a duplicate of that heart. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to move it out of the way. You'll see why in a second. Now I'm going to go front minus back. It's going to cut a hole, but I need my heart back in there. So I'm taking my duplicate and putting it back in here. Now here's the trick. You have to combine all this. I'm pretty sure a group would work. But I'm gonna so I'm gonna group all objects. And then I'm gonna go up to effects and add perspective. So let me zoom in here. Effects, add perspective, and this is what's gonna give it that look of kind of a weird shape. And you could play around with this forever. And this is where really I've kind of had the problem 
with making this part right here, you know, what you can see if it's actually like it's going through the box. And for a second, I'm going to have to ungroup it to get me a new heart. I'm going to take my heart and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to go ahead and group this back together. So if I haven't bored you and you're not interested in this, feel free to just quit watching. But this is kind of intriguing for me and kind of fun. So I brought in my new heart. I didn't put it, I must have nudged it over somehow, but it doesn't really matter. Because we're going to move this heart around anyway. And that isn't what I want. I want to move. I want the other heart. There we go. Get my two point line and kind of like put it like right there. Now you need to take your virtual segment delete key and very gently. Whoop. Uh, you don't want to, and you can do this several ways. I'm going to do it this way to just to show you. If you will do the ones that are kind of in the way or closest to the edge, you could go arrange and break curve apart. And then we're going to set our nudge factor on something bigger, like two inches. Move this out of the way. And because our curve is broken apart, now you can delete these lines you do not need. It's a lot easier to do that. And then you can nudge this back. And there's our new part. And there's I need to figure out a better way to draw these lines at a perfect angle. And I think I will, but for right now, this will work. So I'm just going to draw it a kind of an angle up, trying to keep the same angle. And there's probably a mathematical formula to put this at the right angle, but for the video, it's good enough. And you can always go back and change them. I'm just taking my two point line and trying to get about at the same angle. And I really had to think about this, which, you know, am I doing all the lines or just some of the lines? And I can see I got off on that one right there, but it's very easily fit. And I messed it up right there a little bit. I took away that line, but you could very easily fix that. Let's use the two point curve. And just give that a little bit of a curve. And then take your two point line again. And that looks pretty cool. A couple of things you need to do to change it to make it even look better. Take your two point line. And we're going to go from that node to that node. And from that node. To that node and then to make it even look a little bit better take your two-point curve or three-point curve and draw from there to there and then just make this rounded kind of gives it the illusion of a, a rounded tile and you could do the same thing down here but you need to delete these lines but I'm not going to do this all in for the video and I guess it would have been better to start off with the word love or whatever you want to put in there and do that with the perspective. But you can, let me do it right. Take this word and kind of put it in the middle. And what I would do now is go ahead and arrange and group all this together so you cannot mess it up. Get your word, make it kind of fit in there. Kind of put it at an angle. And you could add perspective to this word, which we will. Go up to effects, add perspective, and you can make it look a little better. You need to make it look like it's kind of trailing away. 
and you maybe should have done that at first and then take all these lines and make them not a hairline and double click on them because you want it to engrave and not cut and that would make a pretty cool first edge light I don't think I'm going to be cutting it out because I want to try to go a little bit further um, but that's a pretty cool effect anyway hope that didn't bore you too much and thank you for watching